Hi everybody, welcome to the rather beautiful Quidditch Stadium in uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Now unfortunately we don't have any competitive Quidditch yet um, as I'm recording this video, but I'm pretty sure we're going to be getting some before too long, whether that be in a DLC or just an add-on pack. But in this video I wanted to share some of my hints and tips about using brooms, because they can be quite tricky to fly. The most important thing to remember with brooms is, however, that they perform better when you're moving fast. They're very difficult to control when they're slow. Okay, so let's uh, jump on our broom. So um, on um, controllers, and this is mainly what I'm going to be referring to, you press your top left shoulder button, and that would be uh, LB or L1, Oop, and then you press B, or it would be circle on PlayStation. You jump on your broom. Now at this point, without us moving, the right stick kind of um, controls the camera sort of as we can spin it around like so and then if we go up or down this controls our altitude so we go up and we go down and the left stick is kind of our slow um, slow speed control so whichever way we point the left stick is the way we're gonna go and then we can control the camera with the right stick but this is quite complicated I find to do um, it's very easy to kind of lose your way if you're trying to like pop a balloon for example now where things start to make sense is when we go fast now in order to go fast what you need to do is we press the right trigger in and just press it in a little bit and you, you'll see we start moving forward um, like so like that now if we press the sorry that's the right trigger we press it in if we press the left trigger in that gives us speed boost to go very fast but that doesn't last very long if you look in the bottom right hand corner you'll see that if we use the speed boost on the left trigger that slowly goes down um, or it would do if I wasn't in here now so what's the best way to do this well I found the best way to do is if we jump off our broom again so let's uh, right, jump off All right so let's jump on our broom and I find the best thing to do is what you do is because often when you jump on you, you the, the camera will be in the wrong place if you just push forward slightly on your left stick that brings makes your character kind of go in the way that the camera's looking and then you press your right stick and then all you're doing now is you're just using your left stick to steer left and right and they're using your right stick to go up and down so we're just going left and right on the left stick and then we're going down and up on the right stick really really easy and if we want a burst of speed we can push in the left stick as you can see that yellow line's going down and we let go and it starts charging up and it's just down on the right stick up on the right stick and then left and right and I've basically I've got the, the right trigger pulled down pulled down all the way now I can ease off on the right trigger a little bit and we'll slow down and it's still easy to control because it's still just left and right on the left stick and then down and up on the right stick and you can really get some really quite fine controls doing this because the, what happens is this camera is automatically sort of uh, zeroing and coming behind us in a way that it doesn't do when you haven't got your right finger on the uh, the right trigger. Now the other kind of, I guess, advanced moves that you can do as well, and let's come down to the low level, here, is that if you pull back on the left stick, you kind of do a really sharp U-turn, and you can release at any point to stop the turn. So you can really, you know, move around. The problem is, often when you do things like that, you lose your spatial awareness of where you actually are. So, that, my friends, I find is the best way to work to uh, fly on the brooms. So let's just go through that once again. So let's um, come down, B to jump off. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump onto our um, broom by pressing the top left shoulder button and B or circle on, um, excuse me, PlayStation. And then we're just going to push forward slightly on our left stick. In fact, let me just move the camera so it's not in the right place. Push forward slightly on our left stick. That kind of gets our character going, and then we pull the right trigger, and then we can go up, down, and then we just do left and right. And our left stick, and up and down. And our right stick. 
and then we can always do a little bit of a boost with left trigger and then whoa, we can do like a flying dismount how cool is that right hopefully that has helped um, and trust me it does get a lot easier within a fairly short amount of time flying brooms but again even when you're really good with the uh, brooms as soon as you slow down when you're in this situation where you're not using your right uh, trigger um, this is where it does get a little bit tricky to control them um, it can be you know, difficult to kind of figure out which way you're going and where, where the camera is going and all this sort of stuff but as soon as you pull that right trigger and you start to zoom forward and all you're doing then is just using your left stick to steer and your right stick to go up and down everything's become much much easier so there we go hopefully you found that useful if you have hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon